Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about creep of belt and effect of creep on velocity ratio. In the previous session we have discussed about slip of belt and effect of slip on velocity ratio. Now let's see first of all the creep of belt by considering this figure. Here again you can see this is the driver, this is the driven shaft and the driver is rotating in the clockwise direction so it will be the tight side. When the belt passes from the clock side to the tight side so it is talking about from here to here this is the slack side and this one is the tight side so again when the belt passes from the slack side to the tight side a certain portion of the belt extends because of here you can see it is the tight side so it will be pulled from this side so the length of the belt will be extend and it contracts again when the belt passes from the tight side to slack side that means they are talking from this side to this side so when the belt passes from the tight side to the slack side it contracts again because of this is the slack side so the length will be reduced a little bit due to these changes of length of belt on both side that means from year to year it will extend and from year to year it will contract due to these changes of the length of the belt from year to year and from year to year that means we can see in short on both sides there is a relative motion between the belt and the pulley this relative motion is termed as creep so very simple creep means there is a relative motion between the belt and the pulley due to the changes of the length of belt on both side and that is especially due to the tight side and slack side. Now see the effect of creep of belt on velocity ratio. Let's say D1 is the diameter of the driving or you can say driver pulley. Next D2 is the diameter of the driven or follower pulley. Next N1 is the speed of the driver that is always in rpm and n2 that is the speed of the follower in rpm sigma 1 that is actually the stress in the belt on tight side that is in generally newton per mm square and sigma 2 that is the stress in the belt on the slack side again the unit is newton per mm square and e is a modulus of elasticity of the belt material. Again, the unit of the modulus of elasticity is generally in Newton per mm square. Now you know that velocity ratio is generally n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2 without considering the creep. But if you consider the creep, then this is the factor that should be multiplied with d1 upon d2 that is e plus square root of sigma 2 upon e plus square root of sigma 1 here keep in mind sigma 1 is always greater than sigma 2 because of sigma 1 is the stress in the tight side and so that this term always less than 1 and so that the velocity ratio is always reduced due to the Creep. The total effect of this creep is to reduce slightly the speed of the driven pulley or you can say follower and that is again depend on the value of sigma 2 and sigma 1. If there is very less difference between sigma 1 and sigma 2 then it will be ignored but if there is a significant change the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2 then you have to consider the effect of the creep on velocity ratio 
If you have any doubt, then you can write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.